Welcome back guys, I'm Pete from DCW and today we're going back to Vorsk. In the last video we looked at the Vorsk high cappers, the 5-1s, the 4-3s. If you've missed that, don't worry, I'll put a link in the description down below, you can go check that out later. Now, let's go have a look at their blocks. So, as you know, New Republic released their Vorsk Glocks. They come in both the 17 and 18 as we expected, they are full blowback. And you've got the choice between standard slides or skeletonized slides, so you can see that fluted barrel just a little bit more. They come in the same colours as you find on their high cappers, the blacks, the tans, the halves and halves. They also come with the option for the BDU units, so if you want to buy the BDU units separately, you can later on. Right, let's go have a look in the box. So, looking at the box, exactly the same layout as you found on the high cappers. All the information is on the sleeve, not on the box itself. Of course, it comes with your usual exploded diagrams, your, your manuals and your Vorsk patch. They've also thrown in the usuals, spare loading nozzle, O-rings, just in case you get a leak anywhere. Um, they come with a thread adapter key, so you can take that on and off with ease. They come with a small pin as well, so you can take off your flared magwell if you don't want to run that. They also include back straps into the box, so if you want to bulk up the back of the pistol to suit your hand, you can do that. They also include the standard iron sights as well, so if you don't want to run what's on the gun already, you can take those off, but I'll come into that later. Looking at the magazine, it's an 18 round green gas magazine. You can put more rounds in, but I found that I've got feeding issues, so 18 seemed to be the optimal amount. New Prol haven't released any Vorsk Glock magazines, and that's because they run exactly the same as the Ravens. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are Raven magazines. So spares for that will be fine but I've not seen anywhere where it says it's CO2 compatible. So just in case you've got a CO2 Raven magazine lying around, please don't try it out. You never know what's going to happen. Right, let's go have a look at the gun. So, looking at the gun now, start at the top, and straight away you notice that it comes with raised fiber optic sights. Now, they've done this because if you want to buy the BDU as an after part, you can still mount it on there and use the iron sights as well just in case you run out of battery, or if the worst happens, it gets shot out. Going down the gun, onto the ejection port, and as Newpol always do this for their Glocks, they put a bit of plastic film over the top of it. Please, 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 please take that off before you start using it. The last thing you want is pieces of plastic into your slide. It's gonna jam up your gun, ruin it, and you're not gonna be happy. Going further down, you see that it's gonna be CNC finished slide. Uh, it reveals the nice fluted outer barrel. On the end of that, you've got your standard thread adapter, so it's a 14mm counterclockwise. If you want to take that off, you can. Of course, they've got the key in the box to help you take that off, or to tighten it if you want to use your suppressors. Going underneath that, you've got your standard rail system, so you can put on anything from your torches, your GoPros, whatever you want. GoPro on a pistol? Hmm. Anyway. So yeah, you put anything under there. They've also got a manual safety as well. Now, I've used this and it does work, but it is very stiff. So if you're going to, be careful, it can jam. Moving along, and of course you've got the usual double trigger. So, like on most Glocks, it's the single, you can't pull it. If you compress both of them, you can pull the trigger. It's nice because it does actually work. There are some Glocks, it's just for show. And of course, moving towards the back, you've got your standard fire selector on the Glock 18. If this was the 17, you would not have this. Right, so we've had a look at the gun. Let's go fire it.
So there we have it. We've done the tests on the Chrono. It was doing around 270, 280 mark. I'm not surprised it is cold again. Uh, it is December, so what do you expect? Nice rate of fire, 20 rounds per second. But with an 18 round magazine, you are going to lose a lot of rounds very quickly. Going to the accuracy test, and I was a lot happier this time. I got to see nice tight groupings on that. I didn't do it on full auto, only on single shot. So this might be something I have to try in later date. Finally, looking at the gas efficiency, I was happy to see that it did 48 shots. There was still some gas left in the mag, but it wasn't doing a full enough cycle to load the next round. So I'm not counting any more after that. So there we have it. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. And until next time, thanks for watching.